Mr. Marty needs your help for all the love it takes to make a show. It takes a lot of love to keep the show going. Please join those who have become enablers of the show and make a monthly gift of $100 or more. Hi, Mr. Marty fans. Bob Gilmore here. Hawks have been a part of my life since I was very young, but Hawks became more notable in 2012. Mike and I and one of our grandchildren had gone to Oklahoma as Mike's mom was in the hospital. We were leaving her home early one morning to leave Oklahoma for our home in Chicago. We looked up in the sky at a noise we heard and flying over us, winging its way down, over our heads, we saw five hawks. It was such a sight to see that the neighbors who were leaving for work stopped to watch to see what would happen. These five hawks kept gliding overhead in a circle and then one by one, they flew off in different directions as if they were part of an aviation show, our own private Blue Angels show. Then came later in 2012, the funeral for Mike's mother in Kansas City. We were standing during the burial service. Mike all of a sudden urged me to look up and flying high above our heads were five hawks. Once again, our own private air show. Then came 2013 when my son quietly urged me to come to the back door. There, once again, was a hawk sitting on our back porch railing, just waiting to greet me. We stared long and hard at each other for many minutes, and then he gracefully flew away. I have seen many hawks in my life, and each one I always claim to be my own, my own totem. Every Day, Every Day is a celebration about us, an album that looks at our lives with optimism, joy, and hope, songs that make you want to dance. Download your copy of Every Day, Every Day by going to martinmccormack.com and click on the music page. Hi, Mr. Marty fans. It is Annie and Anya's kitchen today, and what are we making? A formula. 
And what kind of formula are we making? It's a formula, it's a formula for like, uh, a friend of ours. For a friend of ours who needs help. Right. Because she's in pain. So what's it made out of? It says ashwagandha root powder. Yeah. Redex berry powder. Wild yam. Yamaka dogwood. And fresh skull cap. So it, what are all those things? Herbs. They're herbs. It's an herbal formula. All right. So now you're going to watch Anya help me make the formula. First thing we're going to do is decide, put our herbs in order, okay? All right, so what's the first thing on the, on the, the formula? Read it. Um, 20 milliliters or something. Mm -hmm. um, Vitex. 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 Okay, so show that. Okay, what's the next thing? F 10 milli milliliters. Milliliters. Skull cap. All right, the next one? Um, <clears throat> five, five, 10 milliliters um, ashwagandha. 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 Okay, next one? Um, 10 milliliters Janica dogwood. Jamaica. Jamaica. Dogwood. These are really hard names to say. Okay. And now, think we're going to use to measure those milliliters? It's a cylinder. It's a cylinder. It's called a graduated cylinder. A graduated cylinder. Okay, and so that thing helps us measure, measure the milliliters. There's, There's 30 milliliters, about 30 milliliters in an ounce, and this is a two ounce bottle. So if there's 30 milliliters in one ounce, and this is two ounce, how many milliliters do you think we need? If there's 30 in one ounce, but we need two ounces, we need 30 plus... 30, so 60. 60. Does this have 60 milliliters in it? No. It's, this is like where 60 would be if we had Yeah, it measures up to 50. So we're going to measure it all the way up to 50, and then we'll dump it out, and then we'll measure the last one as 10, just to be sure that we've got enough, okay? All right, so what's the first thing? We got it in order now. Vitex 20 milliliters. Okay. I will do the pouring because this is glass on glass. Okay. Hey, but you'll tell me, mm -hmm. right? Okay, hold it steady and let it rock. All the rest are 10 milliliters. So the next one is? 10 milliliters are fresh skull cap. I got 10 milliliters in here. I have another bottle downstairs. I don't. Ooh, just. Right? Actually, it's right there. Okay, perfect. And go. Okay, so tell me when I get to 10. Okay. We've done it right. This should have just enough room for the dropper without overflowing, which it did. Perfect, right? So now we'll make a label for it and we'll get it to the person who needs it. Thank you for me. Thank you for coming and I hope
hope you had a good time um, making this formula with us. I think the person will be very happy with it. I hope so. And if you have any questions about herbs, you can pass them, send them to the Mr. Marty Show email and you can, uh, and he'll pass them along to me. And this is it. <laughs> and this is Annie and, Annie and Anya's kitchen. Hello, I'm Polly Chase. Let's watch as Martin McCormick takes us into the winter landscape of his first Christmas card painting. Here, he applies thick daubs of white paint, creating a peaked surface that reflects light and casts shadows, lending depth and realism to the scene. A little fur on the elk. And finally, I present Northern Lights. Marty created this painting as the first image in his annual Christmas card series. This whimsical winter wonderland is now available as a limited edition set of 15 cards for $24. Simply mail your check payable to Martin McCormick to the address on your screen. Or become a super enabler during the month of September and receive a set of 15 cards absolutely free. Northern Lights and other artwork is available to see online at martinmccormick.com. Email me at martyfineart at gmail.com with questions and comments. Thanks for watching! Driving or working at your computer and looking for a podcast that's thought-provoking, fun, and musical? Strung Out is the Martin McCormack podcast that gives you a piece of his mind that will have you asking for more. Go to martinmccormack.com and click on the podcast link.
a lone pine tree on a fire scarred hill might just be a tree that I still it reminds me I survived on the shore tumbles in the sand polished over time by nature's hand it reminds me I'm alone Chase presenting artwork by Martin McCormick. There are many reasons to buy art. You might choose a piece for a financial investment or to put the finishing touch on interior decoration. You could buy work because it speaks to you or you are a friend of the artist. And then there is art that you buy for the sheer fun of it. These pop art portraits in the Man and Dog series definitely fall into the fun category. Each acrylic on canvas measures 12 by 9. They can be purchased individually or as a complete set of four. They are a playful testament to a companionship that stands the test of time and a vast wardrobe. Check out this painting and more of Marty's artwork on martinmccormick.com. You can also email me with your interests at martyfineart at gmail.com.
Ready? Yeah, no, I want to do it by myself. Capers, come here. I got it. One time I did have to do this with my bear. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Yeah. 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 Yeah.